Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another plan with me, but before that I wanted to show you my previous week, which is July 3rd through the 9th. I did not do a video on this spread, but if you're interested in seeing what it looks like fully, follow me on Instagram as always. But uh, for this week we are doing a kit that I made all by myself. So this is a watercolor floral kit, I guess you could say. Um, I found all of these images on Google, on Flat Icon. There's a lot of YouTube videos on how to make your own stickers. So I just followed that. If you're interested, you know, I'll link some. I'll try to link them if I remember in the description. And um, I literally just learned how to do everything by myself. It was a long learning process, but I feel like the end product is pretty good. I don't know if it's like the most professional or whatever, but... I'm just really happy with how it turned out. Um, again, these stickers are not for sale. They're just for personal use. Um, my sisters and my friends are probably the only people that will um, use them. Like my friends I know in real life that plan with me. So um, I'm so sorry if you guys are interested in buying this or if you like, like it enough to purchase it. But they're not for sale. Um, I'm sure you can find really amazing and beautiful kits on etsy i know it's a little bit pricey or whatever but there are always options to print your own or something like that so i suggest you go down that route but um i'm just really excited to use a kit that i made all by myself it's just so i don't know it's so cool it's just like i don't know something i've dreamt about i guess something that i've been trying to work towards ever since i started planning back in like i don't know 2005 so I don't know it's kind of like a small dream come true I guess I don't know how to um, explain it but for this week I am tracking my um, thankful thoughts and a no spend on planning stuff so um, that's what I'm doing over there on my sidebar and then the little checklist at the bottom there is to um, remind myself what I want to get done or accomplish this week so I do this kind of major oopsie here um, these hydrate stickers I made specifically for my personal planner um, but I don't know what happened when I was planning I decided to put it at the bottom of my regular spread so I do fix it but it's off camera and um, you can see how it creates a little bit of problems for me um, when I start to put down these full boxes because I have to like put them in weird um, staggered spots and I don't really like that so off camera I do change the um, layout a little bit just a little shifting here and there and I do move those hydrate stickers into my personal planner so I did film a personal plan with me as well but that does not include um, when I added my hydrate stickers but um, I will when I do the voiceover for that, I'll show you guys where I put the hydrate stickers in my personal planner. But just know that if you want a, the most updated view of my planner, it's always best to go on to um, Instagram. I think I want to do like a flip through, like a mid-year flip through of my planner, which I've been saying I've been wanting to do, but um, I never got around to doing it so one of these days i'm gonna film it just just give me some time I, <laughs> it's just like um you know i'm again i i think i mentioned this in all of my videos but i do work full-time at a corporate office and you know planning is my hobby it's kind of like my creative space so um like just the past week or two it's kind of been like taking over my life there have been so many plans i mean not plans so many sales and so many um what is it like new releases and stuff like that that like my whole life has been consumed by planners and all things planner community so I kind of just want to um not take a break but like take a, a mental breather and just kind of relax and plan which is what I did um for my spread July 3rd through the 9th I kind of just wanted to you know it's get away from every like social media all of my uh phone and everything like that and just like 
have fun in my planner what I normally do and I, I really like the way the spread turned out so this week I don't know if you guys can already tell but this is a um, before the pen spread so I'm not filling anything in um, on camera I'm just doing it off camera because I kind of want to post plan everything here since I am um, just going to be using my happy planner and my personal planner this week so I was trying the three planner juggling type deal but um how do I say this? My, I, I really like the layout of the Happy Planner because the Saturday and Sunday has their have their own like full columns. So it just makes me like feel less cramped um, when Saturday and Sunday are separated. And I really do love my um, plan to create uh, inserts. Um, Julie, who is plan to create she made those inserts and i love them so much and i got them from felicity jane i don't think they're on sale anymore i don't know if they're ever going to restock but um those inserts are undated so i can use them you know whenever i want whenever i decide to pick up my a5 again but um for right now i think i'm just gonna stick with my happy planner and my personal planner because I really do like having those separate days, um, especially on Saturday and Sunday. But then I also really like having my personal planner or carrying it around with me because um, I can quickly jot down some ideas or some like quick to do's that I don't really want to put permanently in my happy planner. So again, I'm just laying down the foundation here for this week and um, I lost my scissors. So you can see there I was trying to measure out where the um, the washi stickers would fall and um, yeah it just didn't work I didn't have scissors and I didn't want to just like freehand rip it so and I don't know where my exacto knife is so I'm gonna have to go find that also um, but yeah so when I buy kits or um, in this case when I make them I do make enough stickers to um, at least do like a spread and a half for um, white space planners and for me personally I do planning um, like half a kit in my happy planner here and then half the kit I use in my personal planner so I, I do I did I mention that I do use this kit in my personal planner which is also going to be released sometime this week um, so I think that might be my new schedule now is I upload my regular plan with me every Wednesday and then I do another upload on Saturday. I don't know if I want to do it on Friday or Saturday, um, one of those two days. So this is pretty much my spread here. I am going to try to fill in some more space, um, but I, I just didn't know what my full plans are going to be for this week. So that's why I didn't write anything down and then... If I do write them down, I don't want to risk the risk pulling up the um, the backing of the sheet. So that's why I decided to not write anything down this week. But always check out my Instagram. I always post my full spreads on there and um, it will always be updated to you know, whatever picture I took that morning. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you liked this um, kit that I made. Thanks again. Subscribe if you want to. Links are in the description. Bye.